Welcome back. The mode code. Oh boy. Oh boy. I was driving on a road and I thought, hey, why don't I download? But oh no, there's a toad. Get out of the way, toad. Go back to your abode. I don't want you to explode. If only I had slowed. And as for the download, I got an error code. What do you think? I'm thinking I have some really great poetry inside me to share with the world. What? Your assignment? Okay. I'll just put it over there. You can let me know if you would like me to recite my poem again. How many times does each number appear in the grid there in the center of the room? How many zeros are there? How many ones? How many twos? How many threes, fours, and fives? Write your answers on that row of six data cubes at the bottom of the room and place them back on the floor. The first cube on the left should say how many zeros there are. The next cube should say how many ones and so on, up to five. Do not include the cubes at the bottom of the row in your count. That row is only for results. So... We need to tell people, uh, basically what number they are. And then after that, they need to just go systematically through every single cube and, uh, jot down what number it is. However, the laziest thing I can do is I can have one person step through everything and have everyone listen. And if they hear their command, then they write it down. So that's what I'm going to do. And then have the person who's doing the walking, they will just uh, keep track of zero. So, if to my left equals a nothing, then I'm walk. Well, let's do it this way. I'm pub. So I publish the results of my walk to everyone else. So, uh, what I will do, if I am to the left, I will step to my left, and then I will walk up. Well, uh, if I'm pub, I will walk up one. Uh, can I set... I will set mem1 is equal to the space below me uh, for everyone. So then everyone steps up one. I mean, there's not really... I'm just doing this to keep my code really lazy. If to my left is a nothing, I step to the left. And then I have... A cycle where what I will do is I will step up and uh, everyone needs to figure out what number they need to be listening for too which is very interesting so uh, what we should do is We can have everyone tell. Can I set something to a word? No, unfortunately I cannot. But uh, that would be very interesting to assign a word to everyone. So if I'm pub, we need to wait for all of the subs to figure out what words they need to listen for. Um, This is a... Uh, gonna be interesting. But uh, we can just we can just waste a bunch of cycles if we're pub. For now, let's figure out what to do for sub. So if we're sub, let's also do uh, set. Let's do assign, which let's just say is equals. So to so in the assign cycle, everyone figures out what word they're listening to. So. To the, if I am to the left, I will tell the person to my right, hi. And then, um, this could be interesting. What am I, what am I thinking of? Um, basically, I need everyone to listen for... 
high. Let's see. Let me think about this. It, we want to basically just pass a signal down this row. And uh, I had another thought where I would like assign, I'd sum up these cubes and then basically everyone would figure out what they were assigned based off of how many, um, what the number of their cube was by sending the walker through that. But I don't think that's a good idea because if I set these values, my assumption is that uh, the game will make me lose. So basically, if to my left is a nothing, I tilt to my right high. And if it was cool, I would listen for every, any word at all. And then, uh... Figure things out that way. So... But I can't do that. So what I can do, instead of that, this program is going to be very long. It's going to be an absolute brute force fucking catastrophe. Why don't you join me? Okay. So, uh, I will... I will... We need to... We need to listen... I know what we need to do. We need to listen for a high... Uh, I will tell everyone a hi, and then we need to stop listening if to our left is a nothing and we hear a hi, effectively. That's how we'll do this assignment. Otherwise, we su we uh, calculate plus uh, like one plus uh, a certain memory value, and then we'll figure the shit out from there. Um, but I I know. I kind of know what I need to do. So. Um, if to our left is a nothing, we tell everyone hi. And then we, uh, we move on. Else, what we do is we calculate one plus... We calculate uh, mem1 plus one. So we're going to have a counter. Then we listen for high. Then, uh, the, this person, they need to then do a check of, okay, then we have everyone do a step up. So first things first, we're going to do a step down. Oh no, we're going to, we're going to set mem1 to what's below us. Mem2 will be mem2 plus one. And then we do a listen for high, and we will then, uh, if to my left is a nothing, we do, we tell everyone high. Why did I have everyone step up? There was a reason for this. Why did I have everyone step up? It was part of something to check. So we tell everyone high. Okay. We don't, we'll, we'll not step up now. I totally forgot why I was doing that. So everyone sets below them to be their the location of their cube. To my left is a nothing, I tell everyone hi. Else, I add one and I listen for hi. And... Then I do another check of if to my left is... Uh, a nothing, meaning that the person to my left has stepped up, then I need to do a step up, and then I enter the sub cycle. So, we will... Okay, okay. I kind of know what to do. So, <laughs> if to my left is a nothing, we do a step up, and then we're going to jump out of this loop. 
to sub, basically. But no, that doesn't make any sense. We don't want to do that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to listen for another signal, which is going to be coffee time. So this person, when they step up, and they're six, their job is to say coffee time, which triggers the walker to begin their walk of the entire grid. Um, so what we need to do is let's start by just getting to the point where everyone knows what they what their assignment is. So we tell everyone hi, we listen for hi. Uh, if to my left is a nothing, then uh, step up. It means I'm done listening, basically. We listen for coffee time. If to my left is a nothing, I do a step up. If to my right... Uh, if to my left is a nothing, I do a step up. If to my right is the nothing then I need to do a step up or then I just need to uh, tell coffee time makes sense not to me let's see what happens so this person has said hi everyone calculates one they did not do a step up so nothing's gonna work <laughs> okay so if my left is nothing we tell everyone hi and then we're starting to listen for coffee time, which is not actually what I want. Uh, this person then needs to... Uh... <laughs> okay, this is super duper complicated. They tell everyone hi, uh, and then the listen is completely wrong. So, what we need to do is we need to... Uh, we need to waste a cycle here. So set mem4 to nothing. Because we need to give everyone time to, commute, uh, to compute what they need to do. Set mem4 is equal to 4. What are they doing? Uh, it looks like the set doesn't take any single time. So if I calculate... If I do a calculation for no reason of 1 plus 1, that might synchronize everybody. Okay, so they've done a calculation. They listen for high. If to my left is nothing, if to my right is nothing, nobody did the step up. They're all listening for coffee time. Because we need to have a loop somewhere. So we then do this over again. Uh, okay, they did a listen for that. They jump back. This person does still need to step up. So, tell everyone hi, then step up. To get them out of the way. I am punching this code into working. This is some of the least elegant stuff I've ever written in my life. Okay, this person set themselves to one this per uh wait nope they're at two and okay nobody's doing anything now all right <laughs> okay so who are we listening for this person uh says hi to everyone they step up they're out of the way they listen for coffee time paula did a step up when she wasn't supposed to so, if to my nothing, if to my left is a nothing, uh, if to my right is a nothing, then what I need to do is tell everyone hi. Uh, if to my left is a nothing, then I need to, like, jump to, like, here. Which is really, really strange. 
Okay. Uh, so everyone's calculated two, which is wrong. Wait. Oh, no, she calculated two in Mem 4, which is fine. So we have zero and one. Let's see if we get three. Fuck. Or, ah, damn it, we didn't get it. Wait, I need to hit play. Okay, so this person is now two. They say hi. They step up. This person is... Three? Ah. Ah. Aha. Zero, one, two, three, four. Yes. They've stepped up. Or they will step up. They say hi. They're at four. And this person said coffee time. They're at five. So, I need to do one more thing. God damn it. Okay, everyone's fine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So, if you don't know, if you can't follow anything that I just did, don't worry about it. I have no fucking clue what I just did. I have no idea how this works. And if you asked me to explain it, I would be just as lost as you. But, it works. So, <laughs> we have everyone now will uh, basically listen for coffee time. If I am, can this game stop doing what, uh, what that is? Oh, okay, I need to stop the program. If I am zero, I am the publisher, so if my mem1 is equal to, if my mem2 is equal to nothing, then I will start my walking. Otherwise, we need to do listens. So, if my mem2 is equal to one, then I will listen for highs, and once I hear a high, I will... Once I hear high, I will, uh... I will... I will calc... Let's say mem3, which is my counter, mem3 plus 1, so I'll add 1 to mem3. And then I'm just going to keep jumping here. Um, <clears throat> so... What this will do... We won't actually be able to wake anybody up. Which is really, really weird. But, um... We'll figure that out later. So... I'll listen for high. And then... I will... Set mem3 plus 1. Then, uh... Um... So the problem is that I then need to figure out a way to signal everybody that the walker has reached the last cube. I... Don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. So I'm not going to deal with it for right now. Let's just get the walker walking and the listeners listening. Let's let's just do the pub, actually. So we'll step to the left. And then we step up a whole bunch. Uh, and basically what we're going to do is if what I'm standing on is equal to zero... Then we will set, or we'll calc our own mem3, because we're zero, to be mem3 plus one. Else, if what I'm standing on is equal to one, we will call out, we will tell everyone hi. Um... So, this will work. Uh, tell you what, for right now, all I'm going to do is see if I can get this person to get their... Uh, uh, well, 
yeah, I'll get this person to be listening for one effectively and doing the calculations. So we will uh, walk, we'll step up and just keep doing that. If, now nah, here's what we'll do. We need to get the all, all the code working. So if I'm standing on two, we tell everyone morning. If I'm standing on three, we tell everyone ready. If I am standing on four, we tell everyone okay. And if I'm standing on uh, five, then we tell everyone uh, we tell, no, we tell everyone go. And uh, if none of these are true, which is if I am standing on a nothing, that means I've reached this point, then we're gonna jump to a uh, different code where we do step uh, downs and I have to repeat all of this logic again. God damn it, I'm really not looking forward to that. So, uh, what I can do instead of that is have mem4 be equal to like some flipper, some toggle, or I can just repeat all my code. So, what we'll do is if I... Okay, so we need to do... Uh, if what I'm standing on is a nothing, we then do a step to the right. And then we do a bunch of stepping down. So if I am standing on zero, I will add an M3, one. If I'm standing on... I really wish I could copy and paste. A one. We will tell everyone hi. If I am standing on a two, I will tell everyone that this is extremely monotonous and I am kind of losing my mind on this level. If I am standing on three, I will tell everyone ready. If I am standing on a four, I will tell everyone okay. If I am standing on a five, I will tell everyone go. That matches that. If I am standing on a nothing, then I need to step to the right. And if to my above is a nothing for now, we will just end. So that should get the walker walking the entire grid. Assuming that what we do is if mem2 is equal to zero, we do that. If we're a sub, then everyone needs to step down. So that this row is clear so that the walker can walk. Let's see what happens. So everyone should, grit, should get assigned their, their number. Or... All right, this worked perfectly, as you can see. So let's uh, let's get a little bit closer here. Okay, uh, let's drop this down to 0.5 speed. This person has said coffee time. Everyone stepped down except for this person who is. Oh, they're doing their listen. Okay, so sub needs to actually come up here. 
So, uh, now, this person, uh, this person will get out of the way. Okay, they say coffee time. This person is stuck, uh, doing a cycle for whatever reason. So, oh, I see. So, tell everyone coffee time. And then, once you've told everyone coffee time, you're just gonna jump to, uh, to right there. Okay, so they say coffee time. They have done their step a step down when they shouldn't have. So what we'll do is, if you say coffee time, we're just gonna brute force this. Is we're gonna skip till after you do your uh, everyone does their step down. All right, fifty three lines of code. Oh boy, oh boy, this is working out well. Okay. So they have stepped down. Let's see what the walker is doing. The walker is doing nothing. Okay. What did I do wrong? So they do a step left. And then... I need to do the step up here. So that was... That ought to fix this a little bit. So everyone gets their numbers. Okay. They say they encountered a one, so they're doing something wrong. Okay, so this needs to be if uh, we're standing on a zero. Okay, they've said hi. This person did plus one. And, okay, this is two. So they'd say morning. Nobody's listening for morning yet. So, let's just speed this up. I've called out everything. Uh, and I did the wrong thing, because they did a step to the right. Uh, because I forgot to put the step down statement here. Okay, let's see that walker walk. And they ended their program. If we're... Okay, so they... Why did they end the program? They should not have gone into this branch yet. Okay, we need to watch this person uh, in debug mode for when they get to uh, the second part of the logic here. So they need... They have said ready, they do their checks, uh, they will step up. This could be uh, way more efficient if I didn't keep doing my checks over and over again on the single cube, but here we are. So we step down, we check uh, this sort of thing, it's a zero, so we calculate that. And I see what I needed to do, I need to do a jump. So, we will do uh, step downs here, and if we're standing on a nothing, we need to do step to the right, and jump all the way back up to our step up command. Now our walker should walk. They call it every number, they step down, they step up. This person should be... Oh, right, there's no logic for them to actually be listening in a loop. <laughs> so right now they're just not doing anything. This was by far the worst solution I have ever come up with to any programming problem ever. In in years have I not done something this terribly thought out. I am I'm almost proud of myself right now. It brings a tear to my eye how bad this code is. So what we need to do is if you are mem2, you tell everyone morning, you do a single step up. Then you tell everyone morning. 
This person to the left is a co-worker. They need to step up two times and then tell everyone ready. All right, we can now write in the less the rest of the code. Wait, why why did the program fail this time? That's different. That's different behavior. And now I can't see the fucking cubes because the dialogue box is over them. Oh my god. Oh, I did so much. I tried so hard. And it's just... Ah. Why do they have this thing? I don't... I want the fucking dialogue to go away so I can read the end state of my program, but it always does this and I hate it. 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 I hate it so much. I hate it in this puzzle. I hate it in every other puzzle. It's been in. <laughs> uh, just just when you thought ah uh, god damn it oh why okay I think I know what the issue might be which is that there might be a symmetrical bug where we do a step down when we shouldn't do a step down. So, uh, if we've done a step to nothing, then we need to step till after we've done a step down. Because I think there was also a bug with the, uh, with the walker code where uh, they were also going to be skipping numbers on the top here. Uh... Paula is the office slut. Just because she's walking around and, like, doing all of the work. That's mean. Huh? She is doing all the work. Oh. Okay, then... Durf just made a really, really weird joke that I can't comprehend. I don't... I think maybe she's just making a joke. For whatever it's worth, her face has a really weird line in it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm free. I'm finally free. I got an achievement. <laughs> 